All right, so last session, we started off with the whole universe or planet or galaxy in a time stop, and only Sisa, Bryn, and Ben were moving around. That was until Arch Druid Kaga flew in and said hi. They had a nice long talk about what was going on, and after a while, they still had no clue, but at least they were caught up with what each of their, which each of them had been doing. Not knowing what else to do, Kaga turned into a large Quetzalcoatl and told them both to hop on and to they're going to go check out to see what if they could get inside the dome. But that came to a bust as still nothing happened when each of them tried. Sabrin could tell that there was something going on inside, but had no idea what it was, so they got back into the air to go to the mayor's house, where the rest of the party was still frozen. Along the way, they stopped a few times because of what they saw, and our sorcerers had to fill Kaga in once again with what they had been discovered. Having magic not working anywhere in this time stop, their magical house and all that was inside was now just visible on the ground. The main thing that caught her eye wasn't the thousands of fey creatures or the giant archfey spider, but the black staff encased in glass. Thinking it had died with Kelvin years ago, and now it's in the possession of our party was both a worry and a relief. But not being able to do anything about it, they took off once again. They didn't really stop any time except to ponder over the large blob that is Grimgrin. At the mayor's house, they found their friends still there and decided to do some snooping, especially inside the mayor's house, and to try and see if anything that Admiral Greybeard might have lying around. The only other thing that they saw was someone in the corner that wasn't there before, and he had a pen on his lapel that named him a harper. He was heavily armed, but seemed bored, and they put that aside for later. So they went back outside, and Kaga seemed to think that they were in the time stop so she could maybe be with them for some reason, and decided to ask Lunara what was going on. So Ben and Sabrin went back to where they were before they woke up. Kaga turned into a cat, not to not scare anyone. They held hands and a tail, and pretty much asked out loud, what the fuck? A small vine then sprouted and counted down from five to which everything finally went back to normal. Sabrin then just blurted out what happened to everyone, and Kaga noticed that the three moons were not where they should be, and she calculated almost that uh, one year had passed to the very second. So they went inside the hat shop slash B&B, had dinner, and sat around until the Admiral told them to come back to interrogate Peter. When the message came, they headed back with a little anger to dish out. Tooth, for some reason, wanted first dibs. Inside, they found Peter passed out in his food, and Greybeard and the other three merchant heads just waiting for them. Greybeard pretty much just looked at everybody and said, No one chucks the alcohol. Then he laughed, and then they stripped him. They found the same lightning bolt tattoo that they'd been seeing, and his was a little bit bigger. Covered most of his back. Uh, Greybeard then picked him up with ease, went to a bookshelf, pulled out a book, and a hidden staircase appeared. It was almost a spiral staircase that went down about 30 feet and into a single concrete room with a drain hole in and one chair. Francisco noticed it was quite similar to the one that he was put in back with the Pirate King. Tooth took uh, four punches to wake up Peter, and from there a bunch of questions were asked after Greybeard smacked him to smacked him once to extort the truth. Peter took most of the questions pretty good, and every time he was knocked over or into the wall, he seemed to just stand up, wipe himself off, sit back down. When he was sick of his answering his questions, his tattoo activated and he turned into a living lightning bolt, and well, that's where we are right now, so I need everyone to roll me initiative, please. Oh boy! Right? And hopefully I roll low. For one of them. I probably will, because his initiative is shit. He got a nine. Uh, I uh, pre-apologize to Tooth for the fact that I have never rolled him a good initiative, ever. Beard with the 17 with a plus 10. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Why? Why? Oh, that's why. <laughs> no, I was hearing the battle music and I never hear it. And I realized I had, um, Understood. I cleared my cache and my cookies and stuff. So it's reset all my settings. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Tooth got a I was going to say, I love the battle music. <laughs> it's, I'm it's just a, too easily it's distracted. About being simple. Yeah. Gotta have battle music every now and then. Tooth got a four. Yeah. Francisco 21, I'll add your token. Uh, yeah, I rolled double threes for both Tooth and I. Wow. I know, it's terrible. <clears throat> what did Ben get? A 15. 15. I like your new setup, too. Yeah, hopefully the sun shouldn't be in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's not sun. It's in the other direction. Mm -hmm. so. uh, am I missing anyone? Should be five, six, seven, eight of us. Four, eight. Perfect. Francis, go. You're up. Let me unmute. Yeah. Okay. Francisco is going. Attack with frostbite. Okay. And that's going to be a 20, 30, 20 to hit. Yep. And that's going to be. <coughs> Sorry. That's okay. 11 points of damage. 11? Okay. And I also get my sneak attack because of my class. <clears throat> yeah. My rush is <laughs> audacity. So that's going to be 2d6. That's going to be another 7 points of damage. So 18 total. Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to do my bonus action attack okay. with my other sword. Sure. Which is going to be a 23 to hit. Excuse me. And that is going to be another five points of damage. Okay. And oh, oh, before I forget. <laughs> before I, because I forget this every time with frostbite because I roll physically. And there's also another three points of cold damage. Pretty good. All right. Are you moving or are you staying there? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. it doesn't really matter if I move. There's not a lot of space. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really. Matter. So I'm I'm staying there because it doesn't matter if I move. All right. Sounds good. All right. So. What did I give her that she can do in a small enclosed area? Strictly AOE spells. Well. No, I think I'll do the easy thing. She's going to put Bless on all of you. Oh. We love a Bless. Including Greybeard. And herself. So that's three, four, five, six. So that's a fourth level. Fourth level bliss. Action, action. And she will probably stay where she is, but she's gonna pretty much tell you guys to get the fuck out of here. Let us deal with it. That's Kaga. Uh, Greybeard's gonna ignore everything that she just told him. And attack this mm -hmm. fucking thing. 
because that's what he'd do. So, I'm assuming he's gonna hit. He needs to roll really badly. And he did. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one would be 13. Yeah. That's it. 13 or 20. And then he may as well flurry of blows. There is so much on his character sheet. Sorry, one sec. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, so it's an extra two. <coughs> uh, that'll hit. Ooh. Second one misses. Oh. He gets one. That'll do an 11. And he'll try a stunning strike. One of them. What do I need? Yeah, for sure. Stun the lightning. Yeah. So you're gonna see. Well, you're doing all those techniques, suppressive nerves, which are now. Well, you see him try to do something, and it doesn't seem to work. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Uh, that's Greybeard. Benjamin. Oh. Okay. What am I doing here? Um, hmm. Good question. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I left you with sorry, cantrips. <laughs> yeah, and there's not like a lot of space uh -oh. to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what what Ben could do at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, you could just dip, like Kaga said, <laughs> if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were the closest to the stairs. I'm <laughs> close to the stairs. Yeah, honestly, Ben might just dip. Okay, <laughs> I love that for him. I do. This is. A scary situation. Oh, Just hell get yeah. out of here. Perfect. All right. Uh, all the way upstairs? Or are you going to hold back a little? I'll go, like, most of the way up the stairs. Okay, perfect. I will stick you over there, then. Talos. You will, as soon as you start Ready. walking up the stairs, you hear the uh, bookcase open up again. Talos is going to cast a witch bolt. Upcast and change the damage type. Okay. So I need to get this attack roll, isn't it? Seventeen. Seventeen just hits. In which case, that's 2d12, and since it's second level, I can make that necrotic. Yeah, that's not great. No. Okay. Well, I can hold on to that. I'm going to just dip out the room, but still have line of sight of that one. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, it's the Peter Bolt's time. Turn. Uh, I need Francisco to give me a deck save. And Greybeard to give me a deck save. Sure, he'll be fine. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I need a 15 or higher um, deck save. I'm I, I rolled a 16. You're on a 16? Okay, you're only yep. going to take half of this. 10 d <laughs> No. Whenever anyone, when he starts his turn, anyone near him takes lightning damage. Ten halved, so five lightning damage. Cool. To you and Greybeard. I don't know 
have him immune. Yeah, unless you have resistance to lightning, which I don't think you do. Oh. Okay, so that's just him. Uh, he is going to attack Francisco first, because you hit him first. There you go. Uh, 15's probably not going to hit you, though. Nope. 13's not going to hit you. And a 15's not going to hit you. All right. Thank God. God bless. He's done. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ren. I was hoping one's going to hit you. All right. Oh, me? Okay. <clears throat> um. <laughs> I should have used his... Uh, so, oh. I, I haven't actually seen him do anything. He's tried to hit Francisco. Yeah. It looks like they're, they've been electrocuted a little. That's about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I feel like I'm not going to, like, pull out the stops yet. Okay. Because nothing's happened. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I, I think I'll just. Uh, What's your passive uh, perception? Fourteen. Yeah. Okay, that's not enough. Yeah. No, it's not right here. <laughs> your level um, one character is <clears throat> higher. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'll just. I'll just, I don't know, I'll just throw a frostbite, I guess. Okay. See what happens. Sure. Uh, so con save, please. Con save. What you have? Twenty-one. That's so much. Okay. Yeah, yeah nothing happens. <laughs> I just, like, throw out a little snowflake and nothing happens, and I'm like, <laughs> Raven! <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> gonna... I'm just gonna move back here. Uh, I don't want to block Talos though, so I think I'll actually just stay where I am. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait and see if they need me to like start throwing stuff. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Uh, a tooth. Okay. Uh, tooth. <laughs> Um, I don't know if Tooth would rage for lightning damage, because it doesn't get halved anyways, right? Uh, he's, uh... Um, oh, no, he is a totem. Yeah, Never he's, mind. A totem. he's a totem. Yeah. Uh, he's got yeah, everything so he'll, but yeah, he'll use a rage. Yeah, why not? And then he'll attack with the claw. Right. So he'll move up. Perfect. Hmm. He'll move up. Oh, you got him? Perfect. I, can, I, can, I got him, yeah. Yeah, I think you've used him once before, that's probably why. I have, yeah. I think twice, but... Yeah. I never roll well for him, so I don't know why I keep rolling here. <laughs> um, so he gets two attacks. Yeah. Alright. Um, actually... Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna move him up. Okay. Because he has reach on this, and he didn't get hit by the proximity lightning before. Nope. And he can't get flanking, so I'm just gonna leave him there. Okay. Oh, actually, Talos, sorry. You moved out of uh, its reach when he went around the corner. He's got 10 foot reach, so he will oh. use his uh, reaction to try and hit you. What did I roll? Uh, 24 hit Talos. Ow, oh, that would accept. Du -du -du -du. How much does shield add? Five. Five. Oh, never mind then. Uh, absorb element as his. Okay, uh, 17 lightning. That'll burn his reaction too. For some reason, I feel like the robot would be weak to lightning. <laughs> Just uh, <saying. laughs> You would think so, but. I know. <laughs> not with his new shiny army. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so. 12. 12? Okay. Uh, he missed one, but he hit with the other. Okay. Um, because it was a natural 19 before his bonus, so. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna be... 16 damage with the claw. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's his bonus action and his action, and he's not gonna move, so that's his turn. Uh, 
Uh, he does have two attacks. I know, he missed with one and oh, he made he the missed. other. Beautiful, I didn't see that. All right. Yeah. All right, Francisco. Okay, because now I'm properly prepared. There's so much that's going to happen. All right, so first off, Frostbite attack. And that's going to be a 21 to hit. Yep. And, whoops. It's going to be four points of slashing damage. Okay. Or no, I'm sorry. Da -da 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 -da. That's going to be 10 points of slashing damage because it's plus 6. Okay. And 5 points of gold damage and sneak attack. Which is going to be another 6 points of damage. And okay. um, my bonus action attack, which is going to be... That's going to be a 20 to hit. A D eight. That's gonna be nine points of damage, and because I have to look it up, I am going to blade flourish. So, okay. and I am going to do. If he could look bloodied, he's just finally looking bloodied. Cool. Um, I am going <laughs> to, to do tell. a defensive, a defensive flourish. So, it gets plus 4 to hit. So, it gets 3 extra damage on top of that. And I have fancy footwork. Okay. So, I am going to take a couple and get without out of melee range from it All right. because and it cannot make an opportunity attack on me. Yeah, that's fine. He's already burned his reaction. So, that's my turn. <laughs> uh, Kaga. Oh, also remember you guys also had a plus four for bless. But you've, you made your save anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, but that works on attacks, too. Sure does. Forgot about that. Um... I don't think it would have helped okay. uh, with with tooths. It was okay. No, it wouldn't have helped. I rolled too low. Beautiful. Uh, right back to Kaga. Um. Yeah, she's just going to move in front of you guys, and you're gonna see like. Her, she's gonna get a little feral, and I'm gonna use her primal savagery. So her nails are gonna get nice and long, her teeth are gonna get nice and long. She's gonna just jump on this thing and try to bite it. Bite the lightning. Uh, Twenty nine will hit for twenty four acid damage. Uh, if you could hear Peter screaming, Peter's screaming. Uh, and that's Kaga. Greybeard. Oops. Back to Greybeard. Ah, uh, he's gonna just do the same thing as before. And punch the shit out of him. Thirty will hit. That'll hit. So, got twelve plus. Burn another flurry of blows. Ooh, just hits. Two more. So for another twenty. Okay. He's looking like shit. Uh, you can see there's not a lot. And that pretty much took out the majority of, like, it's looking a little sluggish. I can't go easy on myself, so. Uh, Ben! You got Talos uh, below you. Yeah, seems like they got 
they got a handle. I'll just head out. <laughs> okay, perfect. Talos. They, they got <laughs> They do. <laughs> well, since I have my spell up, I'll use my action. Of course, it's too good again. That's 21 necrotic damage. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yeah, uh... They have it, but, uh... I'm... S okay. Honestly, I'm gonna get back... I'm gonna move back into the room, so I'm not blocking the doorway. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, that way I can still see everyone. Okay. And I'm gonna end my turn. It's got two options. What would it do? He didn't hit anything the last time. But he's angry. But yeah, I think he'd still... He can move. He is amorphous. What would is he still going to go after me? Well, I don't know. I'm trying to think of... <laughs> Everyone's been hitting him. Especially Greybeard. But Tooth, Not me, I missed. <laughs> Tooth hit him first. To wake him up. Oh, So, yeah. he's, like, he's putting three... Well, 17 to hit Tooth? Uh, yeah. Okay, for 24... I'm going to Bob's that. You're going to... Sorry? Silly Bob's works on okay. tax, doesn't it? Like, believe it does, yes. 25 will still hit him. So he'll take 12. No, uh, I have to roll again. Because that would have been the damage cool. from the first one. It was the first one. Oh, sorry. It would still hit. Right, right, thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and who do you want to give your advantage to? Uh... I'll give it the tooth. Okay. Uh, second attack. Uh, 13 is probably going to miss tooth. 13 does not hit tooth. Beautiful. Third attack is not going to hit tooth. Ooh! I think Peter's about to explode. Sabrin! Yeah, there's no sense using his uh, lightning bolt charge because it's only a, f it's a line, not a cone. He wouldn't hit too many people with it. How bad exactly is it looking? Horrible. I'm gonna throw the boomerang at it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me damage. It's a guaranteed hit, and it I is. don't have many damage cantrips. It's what, a 1d4 plus 1? Yeah. Well, we're double digits, so we're not single, so... Look, all right, it's funny. It, it is absolutely hilarious. <clears throat> Just a... Pl uh, four damage. <laughs> four damage. And the boomerang. Now it's in single digits. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Greybeard and Kaga would have taken electric damage when he started. Not that it's going to matter much to them. Eight and eight. They take 16. Real good that time. Uh, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to... Ew. No, I don't want to do that. That's it. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll give, um... Wow, that put him under 200. Oh, no. Uh... This feels self-serving, so I'm not gonna do it. I'll give, um, Francisco my last bardic. Okay. Uh... You're doing great! <laughs> Hit it! Hit the thing! I think it's almost dead! Two's turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You got this! <laughs> As I, like, the boomerang swoops back. Yep. No, it literally just appears back in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two should be able to kill it. I didn't want to give myself the bardic. Oh, no. I'll give it to Francisco, it's fine. <laughs> um, two. Uh, yeah, that is... <clears throat> um, 
a dirty 20 and a 28. Oh, hell yeah. You can pretty much tell me you gotta do 9 damage total. Um, I literally cannot do less. Okay. The, the bonus for each is 7, so that's 14 on its own without rolling. Okay. I'll roll it. Uh, that's fine. So... Uh, so it's 20. 20. Damage. Okay, yeah. perfect. Can I get deck saves from all of you except for Ben? For sure. Got for it. Sure. There. He's exploding. <laughs> and... 19. Uh, and we do get the bless on this because it's a save, yeah? Yes. Cool. Is this a magical effect? Uh, this is him uh, dissipating. Um, it's not really, it kind of is, it's just more, his entire form is about to explode and shatter everything. With our bless, it's 23. Okay. It's just in case of I have advantage to get magical effects. Yeah, so you can have advantage on your roll. Right. Uh, Tooth got a 21. Okay. And... <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I got a nine. Okay, you're taking the full damage. Yeah, I'll you're, take it. You're the only one taking the full damage of 8d8. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're taking 48. Everyone I'm else down. Is <laughs> you hope you're down for too long, don't worry. Uh, Look, I hit it with the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yes. Hey, guys, I did something. Look, I'm not great at saving throws, okay? Uh, we are out of combat. Uh, how much oh, below does wait. that put you? Hold on. Let me see. Everyone else takes 24. So that's Francisco, Talos, and Tooth. Cool. Technically, ugh, you know what? I'm just gonna take it. Okay. I have a lucky point left, but I I, I don't really mind. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, Kaga's gonna put you up with a, a heal. Uh, anyway. It put me ten under. Okay. Well, uh, do, I, do I give her? Yeah, you have seventy now from a heal from Kaga. I have thirty-eight, <laughs> which is my max. <laughs> she didn't know that. <laughs> no. She just basically run overs to you. And immediately uses a six level spell slot. Okay, well, I didn't love that. Thank you. Everyone go. Ow. Uh, <laughs> it hurts. I, yeah, that was that was a lot. Uh, you would notice when he exploded, like this entire encased uh, area that you guys are in is like just like shattered and crumbling now from the force of it exploding. And Ben, you felt like part of the house just move a little. Very glad I got out of there. Yeah. Um, I can... So, everybody uh, should burn uh, mass cure wounds here. Everyone gets 24 back. The exact number to be lost. <laughs> Pretty much. To start. Anyone need any more? Everyone good? Um... <laughs> I mean, I do, but not that I can take it. Yeah, yours doesn't. You, you can start mending yourself if you oh, like. Oh, God. Sorry, Talos. I crawl up from the ground. Oh, sorry. Here, I learned this. Then I'll start helping you mend yourself. Okay. Because uh, I can do that now. Between the two of you, it takes two minutes to heal Talos back up. What does yours look like? You've never done it before for both of you. What does what look look like, sorry? Your mending. Our mending. Yeah, I want to know what it looks like. I think mine looks like black thread. Okay. Um, like stitching itself, and then once it like finishes and tugs at the end, it disappears and it's just clean. Hmm. I don't know, but I thought picture like um, mechanical like cogs appearing across a gap and then suddenly twisting and digging it together. Okay, I like that. 
Um, <laughs> he started. He, I gave him 250 health, so I didn't think Kaga and uh, Greybeard would take too long to do most of the damage. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Don't count Francisco out. Well. Pretty good. Your your first one was what 30? Something like I that. I think between the two of them, you took at least a good 60 out of that, so that's pretty yeah. good. And I didn't go down. Yep. Uh, for once. That feels like a targeted statement. I'm I, just over here eating some rice. And... Out of six attacks, it hit once. Yeah. Each attack was 5d6 lightning. Mm. I figured I was going to do the lightning bolt, then I went, no, his actual main attacks will do more damage overall than just an 8d6 lightning bolt. I love creatures that explode when they die. I love it. Yeah, me too. Because you never know when it's going to happen. Um, give me perception checks, please. If your passive is 15 or over, ignore the roll. Um, shit. Um, <laughs> eight. Okay. My passive is 15. Okay. Um, you're basically, you're going to see uh, Greybeard singed a little. Like, well, he took 60, but... Um, you're just going to basically just see him almost like Peter brush himself off and everything on him is just slowly closing itself up. All his chest hair slowly grows back and by the time you're healed, he's already healed. Uh, Tooth and I notice nothing. <laughs> True. Yeah, I, I, I hate that I don't notice that. You didn't notice that at all. <laughs> nope. Yeah, he went from like being a little, little hit uh, to fully healed in under a minute. Um, Kaga, eh, she took 40, but she's fine. <laughs> she's just going to heal herself eventually. She doesn't need to worry about it. Well, could she have taken the um, mass cure wounds? Uh, uh, yeah, I would have. Because I was already healed up at the time. Sorry, that's right. I didn't give her that 24, did I? Just because I was already healed, so yeah. I don't need to be in that. Yeah, that's fine. She's got regenerate. She should be fine. Sure, sure. <laughs> I didn't burn any of the anything I could have. Most of hers are. She needed more room. If she she was out in the open, she would be fine. But yeah. If she conjured anything, it would take up more room than we had in here. Okay. Uh, and yeah, there's literally just a pile of ash left from where Peter was. Nothing left. Well, <clears throat> that was enlightening. I look at Francisco. Am I doing this right? Now that, that was something. Just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm a bard now. <laughs> it's not worth inspiration, though. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't that, be. That I was hate too, it. Too bad of a pun. I, I, I will admit that right there did kind of shock me. Hmm. Ah, see, I did do it right. Uh, I learned all my moves from Francisco. <laughs> For better or worse. Creepy is just gonna look at you guys and go, "Ah, well, I expected uh, not you guys to fight." Well, shit. You can see your 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 level of um, you peaked his interest a little there. No, oh, I hate that gift. Thanks. <laughs> that I know. <laughs> First uh, thing that came to my mind. Yeah. First. God, you're hairy. Oh, yeah, he's covered. <clears throat> like he he he's um he's like a massive fur. Yeah. And Francisco is on say like. Shit, your hair. And? Just a lot of hair. <laughs> Why don't you take off that face? I want to see the real one. Yeah, I can't. No, that's okay. <sighs> yeah, Kaga's just going to look at Greybeard and go, eh, it's different. She did see you as yeah, a they... tiefling. And she knows what it is. She told you. <laughs> yeah, Greybeard's just going to look around, around at the room and go, Well, 
This needs fixing. That's okay. Not the first time. You're going to see him walk over, pick up his uh, coat that he took off and uh, his bracers that uh, he had, put everything back on and go, well, I think that deserves a drink. Just not what Peter not drank. Yeah, okay. Got yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get something nice. The uh, sealed bottle. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, I'm, I'm covering bases. Valid. <laughs> Might not be what Peter drank, that doesn't mean he doesn't sit at the same shit either. Nope. Okay, so you guys go back upstairs, I will move you back over to the other map. Once I find the map, right there. Uh, I can get rid of him. You guys can... He's going back to where he currently was standing. The other um, people are just still sitting there. Um, as you guys come out the door, uh, you're going to notice they don't have the um, tokens here, but as soon as you get there, in another little chair sitting in the corner over here is Greta, uh, and she's just got like a little six-year-old girl in her lap. Kind of like not really rocking her, but she, she's just sitting there staring, waiting for everyone to come up. And as soon as you guys get up, uh, the little girl is just going to run up to, let's see who, a one, who's one on my camera? It's a Bryn. Ah! <laughs> it's just random. She's just a little girl, little dwarf, um, holding like a little doll. Grandpa's not going to be happy if that was any of you down there that did that. You do know that. And you leave Uncle Greybeard alone. Who are mm. you? I'm Georgia. Why are you here? Why wouldn't I be? It's my house. Yeah, isn't this like an office, though? Uh, shouldn't you be in bed? No. Is it like 11 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just after dinner. <laughs> yes. You're going to see Greta just laugh and chuckle, and she's just going to say, Will you stop? Uh, Grandpa's going to be here shortly. Remember, it's Fail's night. We have a scavenger hunt to do shortly, and then a puppet show. Now, go get dressed. The little girl's just going to look at you again and go, don't hurt him. Who? Him. Uncle. Greybeard. Okay. Uh, and just, she's going to scour away. Make better choices. This is our house. No, it's not. <laughs> Greybeard. I will just, argue with a child. I know. That girl. <laughs> Greybeard's just going to shake his head and go, I pity the one later that finds her. But she is the best of her kids. Of her oh, siblings. <sighs> well, shit. Uh, Greybeard's gonna look at all the merchant heads and go, Well, I think a, uh... I think we need to clean house. So to speak. Um, I want you three to scour the ranks of anyone... You know... Come up with a potential list of candidates for our little uh, get-together we're going to need. But we need to try and secretly, I guess, find out if anyone else has these tattoos. Because that didn't go well. We got a lot of information, but I think we're going to have to uh, see who our real friends are. And he's going to look at the five of you and go so what's next on your list what is next on your list you got well, a few the things. gates opened yeah well we still got recruitment we still got uh, we gotta get more people to sign the contract while we're doing yeah. that so maybe we go home with Kaga 
Isn't she supposed to sign it with her husband? Uh, she, she did tell you uh, to come see her when you want to, but you did have a few things I think you're going to do beforehand. I can't remember. We need to head back home because <laughs> someone's destroyed my house. Oh, yeah, we passed it. I can't remember if you told him or not. No. <laughs> it, uh... Light spring cleaning. <laughs> heavy, heavy forest themes. It's fine. It doesn't sound fine. I don't think it's fine. We should check on that, actually. Uh, you're gonna see Kaga just kind of walk up, look around, and she's just gonna um, look at everybody and go, well... Do you guys need me for anything else today, or do you think I should? I think I should go home, because they don't know that I'm missing. They haven't contacted me yet, and I should probably get a hold of them. I will send someone to pick up your friend. I'll stop by. I'll fly over and let them know what's going on. I do have someone I think I can trust him with. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and uh, so, Bryn, in your head, you're going to hear Kaga's voice just say, uh, I'll leave it up to you if you want to uh, ask about the invisible guy that you found. Mm -hmm. And she's just going to look at Greybeard and go, I'll be in touch. He's just going to go. Thanks for the assist. And she'll just head out and leave. Um, oh, she will stop uh, before she leaves. She's just going to say, um, she's going to point to Talos and go, when you're ready for a visit, um, let me know. And then head down to... Where do I go? Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba -ba. Bring up my map. I believe she's Port Hope. Um, so she's a little more south of Port Mead. Uh, she's going to let you know to come down to uh, Port Hope. Or, um, actually, give me one second to bring up the map here. I think it's there. So many maps. So Too many maps. Sorry, Yuna, not Port Hope. Uh, she'll, she's going to tell you to go to the main gate of Yuna, and they will uh, get in touch with her uh, and escort you to Fort Yuna, where she currently uh, resides with the family. Yeah. Uh, I, I will give a, a nod. Okay. Yeah, just let me know. Um, I'll be in touch quite a bit now. But yeah, I need to go uh, figure things out. Uh, I am going to kind of go like this and just send a little message to um, Francisco. Um, do we want to ask about the invisible guy while we're here? Oh, and also, uh, you guys were given a leaf by Kaga. You can also contact her by that. She'll let you know that, too. I forgot. Who has the leaf? One of you guys does. Oh. I think it might be Tooth. And you're muted, Francis. <clears throat> Francis goes on. Look at Brendan. Put his finger up. Because he, I, I can't message back. Uh... You can reply, but it's out loud for message. Exactly. Yep. And no, no. I, uh, I they can reply in a whisper that only I can hear. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll guard the door. This one little whisper. Okay. And I'm going to make my way over to the door. And... Did Greta leave with the kid? Sure did. 
Okay, just checking. So, and that's, and then I'll, I'll nod in the spring. Oh, me? Okay. <clears throat> um, I just, I had a really quick question, Greybeards. Yeah. Um, Questions are great. Okay, love it. Um, did you know or just don't care that there's someone invisible that was in the room with you earlier and followed us down the stairs into the basement? <laughs> He's just gonna look at you right in the face and go... <laughs> How the fuck did you notice him? He's not supposed to be noticed. That's his fucking job. Yeah, He's just gonna look you, around you and go, may want to rethink that. Where the hell are you, Dante? And you're just gonna hear scuffling over in this corner. And I will bring him out. Uh... If you can picture Dante from Devil May Cry, it's Dante from Devil May Cry. Okay. I have a Googling picture. it. I got a... Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a picture here for you. He needs a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just sitting in the corner with a big crossbow. How... I have oh. magic that makes it so no one can detect me. I have no scent. I don't make any sound. How? Hmm. Magic stopped working for a second. Um. Really so, long what? second. What? Well, for us it was a very long second. <sighs> or maybe a year. Depends who you ask. I... Uh, Greybeard and him are just looking at each other back and forth and at the uh, merchant heads and go What? Check the stars. It's been a year. Magic. Greybeard's just Everything gonna go Uh right. And he's just gonna walk over uh, to a window and just stick his head out. I'll be right back. And he's going to go walk outside. Uh, Dante's he's just going to wave at Dante. <laughs> just a little too cockily. <laughs> Dante's pretty much just... He's putting his crossbow down. And he's just kind of... You can see the, the look in his face of abject... This has never happened to me before. And I don't know if I'm going to get fired. <laughs> that's, that's the look you're getting. Um... Right. Well, while he's out, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm honestly, uh, eh, can't say a lot. Uh, I'm his protection. Yeah, we know where you're from. It's all right. Don't worry about it. What do you? Mm. Uh, this is a first. What? What? Mm. Nice to meet you. Right. Dante. I already know all of you. And I heard your conversation while he was out about trying to kill him. Good luck with that. That's why he, I'm here. He he knows that I'm not good. Oh yeah. He does kinda know, yeah. No no no, sorry. I'm I'm the just in case he does something stupid, I'm here to help take care of him. No, that's fine. I'm, yeah. Anyway, I mean, obvious, obviously, you can't even, you know, keep yourself invisible. So, right. Should I really worry about you? <laughs> yes, honestly. <laughs> you can see his demeanor change, and he just looks at you and it's like, yes. Just Easily. to clarify, above table, real quick. Yep. When he said that, to take care of him, did yep. he mean he's the insurance policy to take out Give me a Greybeard? Give me yeah. an insight. Because it could go either way. Good. I said cover nice. up whatever Greybeard's doing. <laughs> okay. 
Hokaga did tell you that he must have done something stupid to get this roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's pissed somebody off. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, twenty-two. Uh, yeah, uh, he's pretty much here to keep Greybeard in line. Inch cat, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, <laughs> yep. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I was just gonna say by now Greybeard's coming back in and she's just shaking his head and going, What, what did you do? Not us. When? When? A year ago? I was Yesterday, remember technically. Yeah, better 25 minutes ago, technically. Oh, I thought we... <laughs> did we? Oh, we just ate. Oh, no, sorry, you ate. So, sorry. yeah, like, maybe two hours ago. Yeah. A uh, year ago today? About two hours ago? Or like it take five days for us perceived time? A week? Yeah. A few weeks? Several weeks? Unclear. <sighs> We didn't do it. The planet did. And then she stopped. So, and everyone else woke up again. It, and it how, went, like, how do you face. two know? We, well, we, we woke were... up. Why? How? We're special. Probably best not to ask. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll let the twin sun religion deal with that shit. That's, that's beyond me. That's what they're for. Uh, they can use magic properly unlike this guy. Right. Yeah. Right. You and I are going to have to have a talk. I was told you're not supposed to, you know, be seen or heard or realized, but we'll workshop this. Dante's just gonna fade back in the corner and go back invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twenty bucks says he like checks himself when he goes there just to make sure he is in fact invisible. <laughs> yep, definitely, there's definitely a little padding, and he's pretty much you don't hear him. You can give me perception, arcana, whatever. Um, you can give me a detect magic; it wouldn't show up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you you have to hit a thirty to find him, basically. Uh, like, he, he's got stuff on him to make sure that. he's not seen. Or heard. Can I check just to see? Yeah. Because I could hit a 30. <laughs> if you want, it'll be a, um, uh, a straight investigation. Oh, you said Arcana. No, like, that was to detect if there was any magic in the I area, know. or okay. Arcana wouldn't do anything. If you're I'm trying to know. find them. Yeah. I'm just going to throw a little guidance and see if I can get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not survival because you're not outside, you're not tracking. This is just a more gauge the area. Nope. Okay. Just wanted to see. The the only one that would probably do it is Greybeard. He's got a plus 16. <laughs> Let's just see how bad he... Oh yeah, he knows exactly where the fucker is. 34. Yep. <laughs> yep. But yeah, so... Um, yeah, he's just wasn't there anymore. Not too sure where he is. Greybeard knows, but yeah. Well. We uh, just weren't sure if they worked for you or. Ah. Uh. Uh. E ish. For. Yeah, let's just. You may uh, know where he's from. It's alright. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how, but probably best <laughs> not to ask with you guys right now. There's a, there's a lot going on with you guys, and I kind of like it, I must say. As long as this one doesn't turn into fucking what Bob was, you'll be fine. Excuse me? Who the fuck is Bob? Well, he was a right evil bastard before you met him. Okay. I haven't got what a list. What the fuck did you say? What? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... Telling you the truth. He was on my watch list way before I put this uniform on. Oh, you mean when you were, when you, were you know, the same as me? 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because you still are. Yeah. Okay. Technically, yes and no. Definitely yes. That's that's why you yeah. had the biggest. How long were you with him for? Ten years. No. <laughs> You never saw him grow up then. Understood. Alright. I'll buy. You wanna know Bob? Is is physically annoyed. Okay. You wanna know Bob? Physically annoyed. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about Bob. I Tell me what you know about. Okay, he's gonna go up and go through a bunch of paperwork. And so am I, because I gotta find it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I didn't think I was going to do this today, but... You're, you're going... I mean, Francisco is full-on, just like okay. antsy. He is... <laughs> I know it. He is mad. Okay. Uh, he's going to spend, like... He pretty much knows exactly where it is, but uh, he's going through a couple boxes. And he's going to pick out a folder that's quite big. Red. Um, he's going to pull, sit down on the table, fold it open, and go, All right. Robert Terwilliger was born in a small coastal village, the son of a pirate and a whore. From the young age, he was drawn to the sea, often sneaking aboard trading vessels to experience the thrill of the open waters. His rebellious nature and thirst for adventure made him an ill-suited for land life. At the age of, age of 11, he murdered a dock worker for his shoes, to which he was forced and then stowed away on a pirate ship, the Owl Bear's Revenge. It was quickly discovered. Instead of being thrown overboard, Bob impressed his crew with his courage and adaptability, earning a place among them. Over the years, Bob rose through the ranks, uh, kind of becoming legendary in his own right. He lost his left ear during a skirmish which, uh, with a rival pirate crew and had it replaced with the rival captain's ear. Over the years, he grew to become first mate after killing and looting his way to fame. He has over 150 confirmed kills, to which 12 of them are children. And he was given the name Dread Pirate Bob, as he used to toss all the heads of his victims overboard and let them float away. He's going to pull in a longer list. His list of crimes. He's attacked countless merchant vessels, plundered the cargo, leaving no survivors. Uh, he has personally murdered numerous sailors, rival pirates, innocent villagers who stood in his way. Uh, he's notorious for smuggling illegal goods such as mar magical artifacts, forbidden potions, stolen treasures, yada yada yada, the same thing we always did. Uh, he has kidnapped mm, many nobles, merchants, their families. He's killed 27 children, all under the age of 6. You know, the normal poaching, conspiracy to commit murder, desecration of holy sites, all that fun stuff. Not the best father figure there, Francisco. No, he did. Kill everyone on merchants. And ship. he also had a, you know, 50,000 gold bounty on his head, so. Mm -hmm. He didn't kill There's everyone. There's more. That's all I know. And yep. I, I, I was curious about the year because it, ne it never did look right. Yeah, yeah. Mm, a couple of those kids were mine. Yeah. Well, I can't say that I. Uh... That was before he met you. How old? How old did I say Bob was? Uh, Bob was in his like 50s, 60s. Yeah, I want to say. I want to say early, late 40s, early 50s. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, the last decade, he had changed quite a bit. Yeah, well, before that, he was a right evil bastard. And More than uh, most pirates were. Most of us I, knew our limit back then. Yeah. So, yeah. I wonder what, what your file has on you. Oh, I don't have my own file. <laughs> exactly. I handed that over to the Navy as soon as I changed my ways. Um, I don't know exactly who we're talking about, 
But what do you have against children exactly? Like besides the normal also stuff. Warning, uh, like why were there that many children on the sea? Twenty seven. Uh, he used to attack mm -hmm. farming and merchant vessels and a lot of them had children on board. So it's like just because they're there sort of thing? Yep. They are yeah. witnesses it's to caught in crossfire. Yep. Yeah, he used to prey on the easy and weak. Like every pirate. Yep. But he seemed to uh, go out of his way searching for them. Most, if you come across, you just you pick and choose. And most don't do women and children. Bob enjoyed them. Not the Bob. Nope. Well, like I said, I enjoyed killing him. Needed to I be done. Okay. You'll float too. I haven't told that. Anyway, I didn't uh, really want to get into that right now, but hey. Um. You got any details on what he's stolen? Oh, I'm sure I have a list somewhere. Speaking of which, you guys are going to be in... You guys are going to be traveling a lot. You guys have done a little bit of a favor for us here. How about I do one for you? If you make your way down to Port Hope, your boat should probably be there, I think, within a couple days. Maybe I'll let you have it back. That shitty one? Sorry, I didn't hear you. That shitty one? What? You don't want your uh, old boat back? You your... meant your boat, Francisco. Yeah. yeah. You got your boat should be around the corner there any... Yeah, yeah within mean, five days. You, you mean Albert's Revenge, or do you mean the shitty uh, drought boat? No, the Albert's. He doesn't know about the drought boat. Okay. Kaga was the only one who found you on that. Didn't we just leave that somewhere? <laughs> you did. You just left that park. You just dipped. Yep. Exactly. That's why I was like, the shitty one? <laughs> you had the opportunity to go through the uh, lock system. No, you're like, that line's too long. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you saved yourself about a half a day. Yeah. Because you were, you were supposed to meet uh, uh, Kaga and Puck there, and they were going to, uh, sorry, Car Carter and Puck there. They were going to expedite you guys through, but you didn't bother. Yeah. <laughs> And my crew. Yeah, they'll still be there. Okay. I haven't got too much word on uh, how they're faring, but I don't think anyone else has died other than your cook. Oh. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, I can get the word out to, uh, uh, who do I have on there? Escorting you. Oh, the brown coats are there. Yeah. Good old Captain hey, Reynolds. It? Fuck. Just keeping tra track of them. Are you fucking serious? Oh, yeah, they're handy. They parked beside each other in Muna. I think Carter's boat's probably alongside of them, too, but I got her doing other shit. Well, I mean, we, we do, we we do need to talk Reynolds. to Carter. Well, he's gonna point she to Talos. He's gonna uh, point to Talos and go. Pretty sure your guy there can talk to Carter anytime you need to. No, no, we need her signature. We no. talked about this, remember? Yeah, I know. Give her a call. Send her a message. Find out where she is. I got her in a general vicinity, doing a bunch of stuff. So she's not one I need to keep track of. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> It's easier talking to the merchant heads who aren't really supposed to be talking about anything than Carter. But yeah. Where is that again? Sorry. In... To what port? Uh, Port Hope. Okay. Yeah, it's straight south. Uh, well, south west of where you guys currently are. 
Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's so there's uh, Port Muna, where, uh, sorry, uh, Port Mead, Lake Mead, and then straight south is Yuna, and a little to the uh, west is Port Hope. That's also where you were told the tavern is that you guys got to go to uh, with Z in it, the Oracle with the uh, for the Lightning Strike. Same area. Yeah. Um, I think we should probably, we probably need to go into the dome first. So yeah, um, we, can, we can make our way down here. I, I, I'd like to see the ship. Even with the on it. <laughs> I think we should go there. Yeah, Greybeard's just going to look at you guys and go, well, I got nothing left for you for today. Keep in touch. Uh, I'll let these three do what they need to do, and we will seize everything of the Wheat Flow family and tear that place a fucking part. That'll be the highlight of my week. Um, hey, we got, your, we got their signatures, right? You got his. Uh, Kaga's not doing it until uh, Hubby says yes. No, I... For, okay, yeah. You got Greybeard. Uh, we need theirs. Yeah, sorry. Uh, they would have. They'll sign two for you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, tentative, but yeah, uh, they'll they'll give you a list of. They're pretty much been talking back and forth between each other and ignoring all of you. Um, they're gonna come up with a list of like another like five to seven names, but they've been more talking about. Uh, how to try and figure out who to trust now with all the uh, lightning bolt tattoo people that you keep finding. They don't know that it's a part of your family, but yeah, your father. Yep. Yeah. I don't think they've been told that. Nope. <laughs> Greybeard, I think you had. I don't know. Gray, Greybeard's probably smart enough to be like. Yeah, uh, I think he knows. If I if, if he knows who Preancies is, yeah. he's probably smart enough to be like, why would he be asking me about Preancies? Yep. So, yep. Other than that, oh, Car I, um, I have not told him. Carter knows about him, so she would have told him. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Okay. All right. So, uh, he's just pretty much going to let you guys do what you need to do. Cool, thanks. Bye! Mm, yeah. Uh, next time you guys come, uh, let, let's try and not destroy stuff. Don't have traitors in your midst. <laughs> well, working on it. Likewise. So, going to her room and going to sleep. <laughs> I like figured the that. The best idea. Yeah, it's probably pushing like 7, 7 p.m. Yeah, by now, so you'd have a couple hours if you want. Um, you're pretty much going to, let me bring up Vale's Night here, because it is Vale's Night. I do have what's going on somewhere. So many things. There it is. Um, so yeah, pretty much outside when you guys are going outside, you're going to be noticing people going on. There's quite a few people outside right now. Most of them are going like on family get together walks. Some are dressed up in a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of people putting, um, it's not technically Halloween, so they're not like trick or treating. They're more decorating other people's houses and giving them gifts. So a lot of people uh, and families will home make stuff for their other like friends and family and neighbors and present them with gifts. Mm. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of um, a lot of weird because this is this uh, night is for uh, Drax. It is dedicated to him. So it just like it, it tries to capture like the essence of the unknown, the unexpected, the unseen. Um, so it's just a wide variety of people doing a bunch of stuff. You're going to see people having like um, like a picnic with invisible food just to represent uh, the unknown almost. Uh, so it's, it's, an, it's an eclectic evening that you're going to see outside. Uh, the majority of the colors are going to be like deep purple and black and a little bit of silver. Yeah. So it's not like a showy, flashy 
Halloween one. It's just more of a somber night. Okay. Yep. A little bit of flat. Like, you'll have um, some fireworks with some people who know magic and whatnot. So, it's an, a, it's an entertaining night. Um, when we get back to the room... Mm -hmm. Uh, Francisco, I... I didn't want to mention it while we were there, and assuming that Dante did not follow us, <laughs> um, when they were talking about looking for people with the lightning bolt, we do know someone who has one, right? I don't know if he told you that or not. He did. Okay, perfect. It's in my notes. Beautiful. Yeah, um, because I know who you're talking about, and that's why I want to get back to the ship, too. But we are, I am talking to her, not right here. Right, My, I'm just wondering, if because you said we were going to do the dome first. Do we want to leave it that, because time works weird in there, right? Yeah, I'm good point. I okay. just, I mean, I, I don't. No, we can we can go we can go down the universe. I don't know if if they're trustworthy, given what we know. But if we're going to check, we might want to do it before they get there. I've known her most of my time on that ship. She is one of the few people I actually trust. So I think she will be forthcoming. I mean, it, she might know something about, you know. If she if she knew something, she, well, she might not have known she knew. True. true right. Yeah. But my guess is that she was on the ship with their old captain. So I don't. I doubt. I doubt she knows anything about pregnancies because if she did, she would have told me. You don't think she's current? No, I doubt. But we we can find out. I can tell you from what I wrote for her that she, you're the first drow she's ever met. I, yeah, but we also know they communicate a lot telepathically, don't they? Yeah. So it's possible she does know something, she's just never met him to That's know true. that it's him. Yeah. True. Is where Subrin's thinking, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think you have a good point. Especially, yeah, the dome's, the dome's all fucked up, so we should probably go for it. Yeah, I mean, if, if people still can't come in and out, it's kind of in stasis until we go there. Yeah, we should probably see what's happened in the last year. Yeah. <laughs> they must have built stuff. Something happened in the last year. So. Yeah. Because they had their year. When we when we went to the dome and we, we listened and everything, there was movement. There yeah, was. They're, they're yeah. Stuff. They were awake. Uh, give me history check. Oh, boy. All of you. Oh, oh, oh. oh, if only I'd rolled this on Dante. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, is a natural 20 for a 30. Okay. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, anyone 10 and over. Uh, you guys would ah, all... <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is a general... You guys would remember the last time you were in there. It was about a 4 to 1. So, like... Almost like every hour you were in there was about four out here. Yeah. So a year, maybe four months. So for a year for you. Right. Okay. In your head, you would think maybe only four months has passed for them. Right. Yeah. But that's just what from what you know the last time you're there. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't been the full year for them, obviously, but it was still. Poor time than us. Yeah. Active time, for sure. Do we want to go to the port, get Carter's signature and everything, talk to your old ship, 
what are what other signatures do we need? What what is our current? Where are we going? Is this what we're doing? We're just getting the signatures from from a couple people, and then we're bouncing back to the dome to go start getting their signatures. Or. And you also have uh, Valen's list, and maybe yeah. maybe some of those people might be. I can't remember if you were thinking of adding them to the signature list. Ah. Uh. Well, we still yeah we still got like the other for other places their uh, head, heads of government or whatever. Yep. Well, Kaiga is on the list with her husband. Yep. Alundo's on the list. He's already signed for you. Yep. Right. Um, we, I mean, we were considering going back to the sanctuary, right? Tell us you got a letter. Did we want to try and stop there? Mm. Didn't you feel urgent. Okay. Who was that from again? It is. I'm gonna have to find it because I have awesome. <laughs> uh, was that from Magnus? It was from Magnus. Okay, because she is on the list. Yep. We have a lot of things to do. Sure do. Because if we wanted to to talk to um to stop there, uh, um, Talos, she is on the list that we need to talk to, anyways. Ooh, we need to go there, then. It's not currently. Yeah. Okay. Have we tried the sending stone today? Nope. Or since we since the times started again, mm -hmm. maybe maybe the blockades stopped. Um. We also or at some point need to stop at the New Hope Chapel. And are we in Port Mead right now? Sure. Yeah, I'll move you to the map where you currently are. Didn't we need? Did we want? Oh no, no no! We already we already talked to Lord De Winter. Did he already uh, sign? No. Uh -uh. That that okay. was before. Because yeah. he's on our list too. And we actually did. Did we talk to him? Or no? We just talked. No, to we the talked pirate. to yeah. We talked to the pirate king, but we didn't talk to Lord De Winter. But we did meet his. The one I have with your tokens. I'll find Supposed it. Supposed to be sister-in-law? Sister-in-law? It was sister-in-law or wife, I can't remember. I think she was marrying his brother, right? And he was dead, but she didn't know. Yeah. So you guys are currently at the mayor's house so over here. So many people! <laughs> yeah. There is. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Yep. You also on yeah. everything. Um, <laughs> as a reminder, also you know that Kaga can get you places quickly if you yeah. ask her to. Yeah. So where the <clears throat> the boat is coming into where? Uh, the boat will be coming down. Uh, let me switch your maps again. So you guys are currently here. Did I move yeah. you over? Yeah, I did. Uh, the boat is going to be in Port Hope. Yuna is where Kaga has told you to uh, look for her, and she will. She's currently at Fort Yuna. Your boat is probably in and around here by now. How long would it take us to get to Port Hope from here? Uh, from where you are to Port Hope, that's probably a good uh, three, maybe four days. Probably four. And Kaga already left. Uh, she did. She hasn't okay. been gone long, though. She's flying towards Grimgrin. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's and right. That looks good. Yeah. Do the same thing to her. Uh -huh. Yeah. It wouldn't take long for her to double back. Mm -hmm. Quite Do you want to ask for a ride? Yeah. Skip, skip a couple days. And the uh, when you guys raised the dead, uh, they informed you that the inn uh, that they're been sent to is in and around this area. 
where that Z person is from. I'm sorry, point again for me, please. Yeah, right here. Right in between Lake Mead and Port Hope. Okay. Kind of in that uh, foresty area. Yeah, so, a couple, out, couple hours outside of us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 think, I think calling her for a ride would be a good idea. After maybe in the morning? Or, or at least we gotta find a place to sleep there since late. Well, we should definitely call her tonight if we can, right? That way she doesn't get too far. Yeah. And then in the morning, maybe she can give us a ride? Yeah, or, we, I mean, or technically... Whichever is easier for her. Yeah, yeah if, if, if she wants... Well, that's what it, that, yeah, if we wanted, we could go to that inn. That's a good point. Stay the night and then try and find the, the Z person. You also know if you went back home, uh, the lens cart can get you most places quicker. Yeah. And it's two days to home? Yeah, two days to home. Well, it's so like a day and a half days. almost. Day and a half? Yeah. Home? I mean, yeah. we could call her to get, get us home quicker and then get off the lens cart. <sighs> For a day and a half? <laughs> Lazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll skip the day and a half and then... Ben we'll and I walked for three, three days. days straight. <laughs> no, that was, that was about five I to know, get there. Yeah. yeah. That seems good. Um, <laughs> and you guys had also... And that was across the lake, too. And you guys had... Yeah. And you guys, and yeah. like only like two weeks ago, you guys literally just finished a two-week walk to go from the sanctuary to Muna because you yeah. decided to walk. <laughs> Someone needs to rent a car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last time we uh, called Valin, she was busy. <laughs> well, you know why. Maybe now, we, but... maybe we should hitch a ride. See if, see if uh, Kaga doesn't mind. Because if it still looks like how we last saw it, that is a problem. <laughs> I assume the tower has gone back by now, but. I don't know. Oh, and also you would remember on your walk there uh, that up in this uh, mountain range, you did see something um, that looked like might have been like a magical, like basically a chunk of it was missing. Hmm. Where what? at one point so when you guys were walking, you did notice up in that corner when you were near the little mountain range there. I did tell you that it looked like part of the mountain had been, like, concave. Disillusioned? Yeah, almost. Okay. Yeah. Which which mountain, sorry? Over in Here. this area. Mm -hmm. All the colors. <laughs> yeah, all the colors. <laughs> Everyone do it. <laughs> yeah, so, Levelin, keep handling that. And we'll just call Kaga for a ride. Ta taxi. Well, last time she told us she couldn't give us a ride. Because she yeah, was busy at the house. That's what I'm right. saying. Let, let, let Valen handle the house, and we call Kaga for a ride. Oh, sorry. Right. Too many people. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Talos, can you send the I, uh, I have. I have a slot. Left, yes. What what should I be that. saying? Do you mind doubling back and giving us a ride home? Worried about the tower? She kind of knows what that means. She did see it when we passed it. She was a little worried that it was out in the open. I, I, can, I can manage that. Yeah, no, I'll send the sending off okay. last, third level. Perfect. Uh, your response is pretty much... Uh, I had a feeling you guys might call me back. That's why I haven't left. If you look <laughs> up... <laughs> you're just going to see her owl just circling above you guys. And if it could wave while it's flying, it would. It's waving its talent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just gonna come straight down, land, 
That's that's the same person. I thought we were inside. We oh, are. were you? Oh, okay, sorry. I yeah, we're in our room. <laughs> so she's pecking at the window. Okay. Yeah. She'll she'll be pecking at the window then, pretty much. Yeah. She'll just see her flapping oh, right shit. at the window. <laughs> yep. <Sorry. laughs> she'll fly in and go, "Hi." Again, that was something. I uh, didn't really expect you guys to stay and fight whatever that was. But hey, what? Does why anyone... not? Uh, well, you seemed a little skittish the few first times I met you guys. Especially in Muna. You looked a little green. You've grown a little bit since then. I'm kind of impressed. I don't think I've ever been skittish. Oh, I'm sure there was a point in some of your life. We'll get we'll, we'll go with you later. That's uh, that's a weird face. I kind of almost like the other one. Not um, including the year that has passed. How long has it actually been since we were in the library originally? Two weeks. Three it's weeks. in and around there. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it is Drax. <laughs> yeah, it's Jeez. Drax 45. I think it was. Uh, let me bring up session one. We see, very... see what date so I have busy. on there. Yep. Session one notes. Why didn't I put a oh, date on there, Brandon? Uh, I have so many. Let me try session two. Um, I think it was the the twenty ninth. Uh, Drax thirty one is when you started. Ah, so no, that's what, uh, you've right, been yes. two weeks today. Look, it's been a really long <laughs> two weeks to a year. Yep, we've been very busy. Yeah, yeah, you guys have done a lot in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too many people go from level one to seven in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. The planet likes us too much. Yay! No, oh, she's like, like I said, we're special. <laughs> she she's liked me for thirty five hundred years. I I understand. Well, uh, do okay. any of you guys need any more healing? Because she can no. top you back up if you need it. She's I know fine. Talos is good. Okay. We fixed Talos. Ben didn't take any. Overall, overall, I'm okay. I'm like you're the only. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You guys will also notice that the outfits that you guys um were in, because you were in your dress clothes, except for Francisco, you didn't. Um. Yeah. They just mended themselves from after taking damage. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah. Except for your hats. If you had your hats oh. on, they might be a little singed and might I need a little hat. bit of mending. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I needed a new, an, another new one anyway to account for the horns. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm gonna try something, and I'm just gonna go over to Francisco, um, and I'm going to uh, cure wounds. What's it look like? I, I think it looks the same as the mending. Okay. With this, like, but more solid. Because um, uh, you'd need your flute in order to do this. It's just a spell. Yeah, usually bards. That's your channel, though. For bards, is your mat use your instrument? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and unless you're like me, where it's the sword. Yep. Because for bards, you need. Uh, I don't think it'll be the same. Because you don't need a spellcasting focus as a sorcerer. You do as a bard, and that's your flute. Uh. Well. Technically, it just says you can use a music instrument as your spellcasting True. focus. Or whatever else you would use. Yeah. Anything else. Okay, whatever else that um, you would work then. Yeah. Because uh, I'm not... I wouldn't be using the flute yet, because I'm not technically proficient, not proficient with it yet. Yeah, you're just still learning. Um, so I think I... Given that it's Drax Day and everything, I think mm -hmm. I'd pull out like a thing, uh, one of the little pieces of... Um, obsidian that I had grabbed from the Underdark. Um, and I just kind of, like, hold it really tight and, like, scrape a little piece off with my finger. Do you remember kinda... how much you took? I took, like, a shit ton of handfuls. Okay, alright. Because, uh... You took, like, ten pounds or something. You would... I did give some to the guy, yes. Yeah, and you would also notice that 
you're missing a bunch because it was used to make your flute. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't have much left. Okay. I right. only have I only have like a handful left. Okay, perfect. Yes. Um, but I'm gonna guys... just flick off uh, just a just a uh, almost like a fingernail scraping, you know, okay. just like a little bit, right. and just kind of flick it um, towards Fr- Jesus. Startled uh, towards Francisco, <laughs> um, and it kind of like goes over some of the wounds, almost like melting, and it kind of like almost feels like looks like it's absorbing, but it just kind of wipes away and disappears. Nice. And the the, the wounds just cleared up. Cool. Um, and you get. Yeah, that's almost max. Um, B8 plus 4, I think. Hold on, sorry, I don't play bards. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, a D8 plus 4, so 11 hit points. Cool. Yeah, roll a 7. Nice. I am not far from this. I just kind of look at it and I'm like, okay, so it works! <laughs> Stick it back Kaga's just look, gonna, gonna look at you and go, hmm, right. Uh, I didn't expect that. I'm learning things. <laughs> I can see that. Weird. Look, I got this flute! And then she's like, fuck, just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well, where would you guys like to go? Because I'm assuming you need travel. Yeah, hope. Oh, we wanna... need to check if the tower is fixed. Ah, so you want to go home. Well... Are we going home? Okay, I thought we were going to home. I thought we were going home first. I Which thought it? we were taking Kaga to the home and then Valin to, to Hope. Oh, I mean, that's fine. If we weren't, that's fine. I, I thought that's what we were doing. But... No, that, 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 that was more me making the joke. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's just going to look at you guys and go, I am well, stupid. <laughs> if you want to do that today, that's fine. Um, yeah, sure. Um, and we will deal with that after break. Cool. Where are we going? Are we going to Hope? <laughs> I misunderstood. I didn't realize that was a joke. Yeah, yeah, I thought we were going to Hope, and actually, I kind of was assuming, like, hey, there's this inn in this area. That's where we want you to drop us off. Yeah, okay. So I'm fine with that. We would stay the night there. Okay, I understand. Um, so we're going to Hope. <laughs> the Halloween, baby, and I was the first of October. I think we have everybody back, so... Do we have uh, Wade back? I would assume he's here somewhere. His mic's on, so I'd say so. Oh, well, I'm always on push the talk, so it just makes sense to leave it on. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Well... So, as soon as Kaga uh, looks at you guys and goes... Uh, you guys want to travel tonight or in the morning? I'm not too sure if you guys want to rest. And you want to go back to your home? No, I said hope. Oh, not home. Um, you're going to leave Valen. Just straight gas lighter. <laughs> you're going to pretty much just leave Valen there on her own to deal with all that? She started. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Uh, did you want to let her know or... Because I still need to do something about Grimgrin for you. I don't want to hop, hop all the way to Port Hope just to have to come back. Because um, that'll be that's thinking, Port Hope will put me halfway home. You're thinking pick up Grimgrin and drop him off at home? Is that what you're thinking? Well, my problem is there's not a lot of trees in this area to get you home quick. Hmm. Nothing. I need big. You guys would r- recognize, like, she needs something yeah. at least like a 20, 30 foot radius in order for it not to explode. There's nothing, you're pretty much farmland, there's not a lot of forest in and around your area. But you do know she can fly pretty quick. 
This is a very weird question, but I don't know how your abilities work. Does it have to be a real tree? Yes. It's gotta okay. be living, unfortunately. Well... But does it have to be a real living tree? <laughs> Like if if Grimgrin could turn into a tree. Oh yeah, it would need he's to be alive. Living. Could you go through the tree, Grimgrin? Yeah, I don't think he'd be able to go big enough. He's pretty big. Yeah, he's only large. Know. It's got to be like huge. <laughs> like it's almost like dragon size for the size it's got to be. Is this just like a regular just tree stride? Plants? Yeah, oh, tree yeah. stride. I find a magic item so green can. Can cast enlarge on himself. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would work because he's technically an ooze still. Well, monstrosity. I don't think tree stride would work. Let me look. Did I give her tree stride? I'll just. You might have to wait until tomorrow. Anyway. I'll, 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 I'll pretend I have tree stride on her, but I don't have tree stride on her. Well, let me look up the spell. It's. Oh, it's a fifth. Okay. Yeah. It's so it, it's not. It's not. Tree stride only works with within five hundred feet. Yeah, it's only five hundred feet. Right, right, right. You're you're thinking of transport via I'm, plants, right? No, that's the one. Because <clears throat> it only needs to be large. It's only gonna be large. I thought it was supposed to be bigger. Yeah, but it still no. needs to be a living plant, and I'm pretty sure Grimgrin wouldn't work. It's just an idea. I <laughs> yeah, I do. So like Brynn doesn't idea. know how this works. Yeah. <laughs> he can turn into things. She needs a thing. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, it's still where you guys are. I don't think there'd be anything big enough for her. You'd have to go a little bit um, north, up towards uh, Shibona area, and uh, like more no near the New Hope Chapel area. So you could; it'd just be like an hour travel. That's. <clears throat> um, she's also gonna say, "I could also just fly us there. It would take part of the night, but it could get us there for probably." In the morning, if you're up to a night travel. I mean, as long as, as long as we can, at some point, go to bed. In New Hope, it would take part of the night? Um, well, I could, f oh. if you guys wanted to get to your home, I could have you there. We could fly there pretty quick, like, it'd maybe be about four hours flying. She can polymorph for you guys. If she needed to, also. Like, I could turn you guys into stuff. Or we just do a little trip up north and we tree stride to Port Hope and I will just come back, I guess. I could also send somebody for Grimgrin, but I think I'd rather do it. Or we just tell Valen to come and get him. We tried that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, all right. She does have her hands full. Let's pick up Grin Grin, drop him off at home, and then we can go to home from there after the rest. Yes. If you guys wanted to sleep in your uh, cart, and um, I could be happy to drive it all night. Okay. There we go. Okay. We'll go home, grab Grim Grin on the way back. Yeah. And then sleep. And then you drop us off at Port Hope tomorrow? Is that what we're thinking? Yeah, I could, like, uh... <clears throat> it's late now. If she went all night, she'd get you guys to your home in the morning. So you'd still sleep, and then she could yeah. take you to Port Hope and drop off Grimgrin somewhere. He'd be able to come Works with you me. through a tree, so... You just yeah. guys would... After you guys went home, you'd still have to go a little distance to find a tree, but yeah. <coughs> Works oh, for me. Perfect. Alright, so we will say for sake of brevity, you guys are in your Vardo, uh, having a good power nap while she uh, spends the time uh, pretty much 
should be talking to uh, your deep Rothy, who's going to be traveling all night long. <laughs> She's going to be keeping him going. Yeah. Uh, but there is lots of room in your Vardo for you guys to sleep and for two of you don't need sleep. Well, three of you, well, yeah. Did you want to keep her, stay up with her or are you guys going to stay inside? Uh, Tooth will be going to bed. Yeah, Francisco and I'm assuming is going to go to bed. I'll stay up and play for a while until she gets annoyed with me and then I'll go back inside. <laughs> okay. I'll practice my flute for a bit. Okay. Sabrina, huh? you, have to, you, have, you have to do chords. You can't just... No, you have to do chords. You have to what? Chords. What? Uh, was that in my book? I look at my book. Yeah. <laughs> chords. No, uh, I'm on RPM. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's... Alright, what's... Which, which one's a chord? It's gonna be your 1, 3, and 5... It's gonna be a bunch of notes played at played together. Oh, okay, I just blow and try and hit every note that I can. <laughs> Chord. Okay. It's gonna be like this. But a flute. Sure, sure, okay, for sure. Yeah, no, I can totally... I'm going to try that. Okay, okay performance <laughs> roll. Sure. <laughs> uh, with um, advantage. Because that was... Sure. Good. Yeah. <laughs> he did that uh, last night, too. This one. Yeah. Oh, did he? Mm -hmm. yep. Well, originally I was saving it for tonight. Yeah. But it worked but last night, too. talking about trains. Sure did. Ooh, I'm going to use my last luck point, because that <laughs> was terrible. And it doesn't cost me anything. Uh -uh. And you're about to go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Let's redo that. That was not great. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, I can reroll that. Oh, I suck at this. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, it's a 16. Okay, 16. Yeah, I, I 13 and over but, is what I was... like, a lot of rolls needed that. Yeah. Everything else was under a 10. <laughs> uh, you would have you would have got that, the like, maybe the first couple notes were horrible uh, yeah. and weren't even notes. And, like, maybe every third or fourth one she got right. Uh, but over, like, the course of, like, 10, 15 minutes, she's getting the hang of it. Was that a chord? Yeah, you're getting it. Yes. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Get it. it is a weird sound because this sounds like you're in a cave echoing everywhere. <laughs> mm. So it literally is bouncing all around the Vardo on the inside. No, no, in fact, the harmonica is also known as the tin flute or the tin whistle. Huh. So that, and that's why I was like, you know what, I'm doing this because I'm going to say, yes, I do a flute. I do a tin flute. <laughs> yeah, I do a tin flute. <laughs> it, it's a, it's a, you know, an offspring of a pan flute. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you guys want to do anything overnight? Are you going to read anything or do anything? If not, we'll just wake up. Honestly, I think Sabrin drinks a little bit because <laughs> uh, now I can reach the alcohol in my bag. Okay. Um, but I, I don't think I'm reading tonight. Okay. Yeah, Ben's just staring at a wall. <laughs> okay. Doing Ben things. All right. I feel like they're tired on the inside. <laughs> yeah. You guys have been for, through a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're now five days older than everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're a year old. Yeah. Well, you, well, well we didn't they, live the year. No. <laughs> we just know it happened. Yeah. We kind of lived the year. <laughs> Instantly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And if he would have took so much more damage. Yeah. I didn't even give her polymorph, so I couldn't even do that either. 
Oh, wait. She's got one thing that would have worked. Never mind. But I don't think uh, uh, she would have used that. She's got uh, Conjure Greater uh, Dragon. <laughs> Conjure Greater Dragon? Well, it's uh, this... Uh, where is it? It's the Summon... It's a fey spirit, but it's in the form of a dragon. This one. Oh, I was like, there's just a legit spell called Summon Dragon? Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I have it on my other character. Where is it? I've been in interchanging her spells, and I just got rid of it. Mm -hmm. Now I can't remember exactly what the hell it was called. I think a six level. Anyway, yeah, I have it somewhere. It's basically conjure a uh, creature, but it's actually a dragon form. Anyway, yeah, um, and she wouldn't do that. So uh, come morning, um, probably you guys left at about 8 p.m. You were a day and a half. It's so probably around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, you guys would have been traveling for a bit with her in the morning after you wake up. You can take your long rest. Uh, get all those oh, lovely yes. spell slots back. Yay. <laughs> it's been, uh, I think, three sessions since you've long rest. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you come across back to your tower at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, looks normal again. Uh, you guys would have picked up Grim Grin. He is attached behind you uh, on your journey. Um, he pretty much was extremely happy to see you guys and uh, that he wasn't left alone. Yep. Mm. Um, but eventually you do come back to your tower. What would you like to do? Okay, so now, what's it look like? Same as before. Doesn't look like anyone noticed anything happened. So it kind of instantly went back. Yeah. <laughs> if we walk inside, what's it look like? Give me a perception check. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, it is a forest on the inside. There's no, it smells exactly like, it, it would remind you of when you were with um, Yarn Spinner inside, like on the outside of his cave, and yeah, smells exactly the same. You were going to have like squirrels chasing each other. You're in a little mini forest with a lot of tiny little animals running around everywhere. Helen! Yarn spinner. Shit. What? Just so many new friends. Come inside. Uh, as you come in, Ben, uh, you're gonna notice. Like, uh, I will move back to your main room. I don't. We'll do the. Yeah, main the room ghost's still on strike. <laughs> the ghosts are still on strike. <laughs> yeah. uh, where's your house? Just house, sitting in the house, corner. House. Ba, ba, ba. I think this one. Uh, nope, that was the house you guys broke into. Yeah. Your home. <laughs> I have so many things open, sorry. That one. So, when you guys come through the main door here, um, you're going to notice, uh, like, over in the corner here is where they are currently hiding. But this place is covered uh, head to toe in, like, Grass is growing everywhere. Little mini trees have sported up. There's rocks here. It's basically his entire, or part of whatever was in front of his cave has just spilled out into your tower. And I'll move you guys over to where your tower is. In here is pretty much the same. Like, there's trees. This is completely different. You're now in a forest full of animals. Ooh. Yep. Uh, it is not story time, unfortunately, uh, but it does look like Yarn Spinner is just like pretty much exactly where you've seen him before. He's not in a chair, uh, but he's just sitting there talking to Valen. Oh, hi, you guys are back. Hi. Sorry about this. Um, 
they needed to stretch their legs. And, well, he's just going to, one of his legs is just going to curl and point over to the pitcher of Kelvin. He was rude. Mm-hmm. Kelvin's just going to, if you could see a, a portrait of a, a dead wizard angry, he's a little ift. Valen's just waving at you guys and going, Oh, um, hi there. We've had a little bit of fun over the last, uh, what's it been for you guys? Three days? Since she's seen you? Yeah. About three days. Re- re- no, no, no. We've redecorated. Right, right. It's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm informed that it's fixable. Are the bats okay? Uh, take a look up. <laughs> I look for my bats. I try to call them with my bracelet. <laughs> yeah, they literally come down. You could have called yes. them any time. <laughs> you just, they just all start in. coming and, um... around and spinning. and uh, It's still scritch, early, scritch, so scritch, they scritch, you, you woke them up a little from a power nap. Uh, look. Yeah. Scritches. They're getting bigger. Good boys. At a semi-alarming rate. I'm not alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> but to the point where they're heavier than they used to be. Ow, I'm very weak. <laughs> yes. My shoulder. <laughs> uh, Valen's going to say, uh, new face, who's that? Francisco, I'm going to assume. Oh, yeah. You're in a different face than you were before. No, no, oh, no. no. What this, face did this you is choose? Kaga. Sorry. It's morning, though, oh, you meant. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you meant. Okay, no, yeah, you, it would have dropped on you, so what are you now? Right. As of right now, I am me. Oh, you're AJ. At, at, at this. No. Oh. I, I am Francisco at this point. So you didn't change new face? Okay, perfect. Not right. yet. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Um, Kaga's just going to look at Valette and just shake her head and go, Jesus. Well, not that, but. <sighs> you just seem to always find the entertaining things, don't you, Valen? <laughs> Valen's going to just look at you all and go, oh, good, you found her. What'd she say? <laughs> She's asking you, not her. Is she in? If, if her husband's in. It's a solid maybe. <laughs> Valen's just going to look at Kaga and Give her a thumbs up without looking at her. Yay! Sorry. Um, we have issues, but that's fine. You have issues with everyone. Oh boy, do I ever! Kaga's just looking like look at you guys and go. We'll deal with that later. But yes, these guys are into something, and yeah, fine. If we need to uh, try and reform whatever it was we used to be, fine. It'll be entertaining to see what happens. Yards Mayor, you said you can fix this, right? Oh, uh, anytime. Yep. Uh, these guys just wanted a little change of scenery. I don't want them shitting on my bed. Ah. Uh, Understood. Uh, sorry, that's just part of nature. Not on my bed. Well, I think your bed's probably covered in a bunch of other things at the moment, but I'll... He, you're just gonna uh, uh, see a couple of his hands clap together almost as if uh, summoning everybody, and you're just gonna see, like, thousands of insects, too, are just basically gonna just start coming and going, and you're gonna see uh, him hif- hold up, like, his little... Uh, cave, set it on the ground, and everything's just going to slowly get smaller and smaller and crawl their way through, and as they come, all the forest and everything goes back in with it. It takes a, probably a good half hour, though. Yeah. You're going to see an odd variety of races, and oddly a couple that might um... They're kind of dressed a little odd. Couple might be like elves and a couple humans that you hadn't seen before. You have people? 
Oh, yes, I've, uh, I've collected a few things over the years, yes. Some of them um, are fairly recently new, but I have given them sanctuary too. Wait, 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 wait. How recent? Um, oh, maybe an hour before a world got destroyed. Okay. Timelines are a little strange. I think it might have been your ancestors' homeworld. So, but they stay with you. That's fine. Uh, for now, yes. Uh, this thing. Yes, sure. Okay. If you need to put the kid in his place, put the kid in his place. Don't destroy the house. Uh, you, if you look around, there's really nothing out of place. It was just covered don't, don't in stuff. Don't make it a mess. <laughs> Can't guarantee that. But I'll try. Okay. Well, in any sense, we have a new friend for you to meet. Oh, I like friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grim Grin. Uh, I don't know if he can actually... Uh, yeah, he'd have to turn him... You'd have to go out and get him, because he did not come in with you. Yeah, I'd poke my head out to him. Grim Grin come in there. Um, hmm. Um, as what? I'm a little big to get through the... Uh, he'll squeeze through. He can turn into a blob, like his normal form mm -hmm. and squeeze through. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, whatever you can fit. fit. Give me whatever. a perception check to see if you can see anyone outside that might be watching. I would, I, I would definitely, you know, not try to have anyone see it. Okay. Um, that's going to be a, tw a dirty 20. Okay. Uh, you'd be able to probably eventually just go now. Now. But, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's just going to roll himself through. Um, he's going to be semi-careful because if he actually comes in contact with a lot of things, it might start turning bad because he's acidic. <laughs> but you, you do see, like, he's kind of put himself on, like, little rollies, and he's just kind of rolling in. <laughs> yep. Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> he, he is quite shy coming through this place. Um, if you can tell, the blob looks shy. Huh. Yes. <laughs> the blob is blushing. Yes. Yeah. Um, hello? Yarn spinner. Yarn spinner? Oh, he's, Be careful, he's spicy. He's bigger than I am. Ooh. Uh, Grim Grin's just going to uh, literally go down and go, Oh. Hmm. I know what he is. How did you guys... They usually don't get along. I'm surprised you're not dead. We rescued him. He's our new friend. Ooh. <laughs> You're going to see Yarn Spinner kind of almost take a step back going, no one's ever befriended a horde mimic before. Um, what are you needing? He needs a place to stay. He's a bit too big to travel with us. We were hoping maybe your, your magic swoop could help. Uh... You sure you don't want him to just guard your home? That's actually kind of what Paige was thinking. Well, he told us that he wanted to be freer, right? Didn't he say he wanted trees or something? <laughs> he wanted somewhere to, uh, yeah, yeah, basically out of the way of everything. Oh, um, Grimgren? Odd name? Welcome to come aboard, I guess. Um, you, you, you can't eat his friends. <laughs> Grimgren's just going to look and go, um, uh, he's going to, you're going to just see uh, like a face appear and look towards Yarn Spinner and they're going to have a little conversation in their heads because uh, Grimgren is telepathic. Um, and eventually over 15 minutes, uh, they do come to a some sort of agreement, and you see Grimgrin just start to get smaller and smaller and smaller and go inside the little cave. And Yarn Spinner's just going to look at everybody and go, Well, 
looks like you guys have a lot to talk about. And as soon as he starts talking, he just kind of folds back in. It's been great seeing you. Thanks, bye! <laughs> Come for story time anytime. Yes! Have Grim Grin tell you his story. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad. Okay. We need to get the help. <laughs> but then, are you staying here? Or are you? Well, we had a deal. I'm here to help you kill your father. If you're in the middle of doing that, then yeah, I'm coming. I am not in the middle of doing that. Well, we might have some leads there, though. Yeah, but we can't just be like, okay, and now you're stuck with this for two weeks. No. I make my own. Yeah, and you, 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 can, you can travel to us pretty quickly. Well, yeah. My way causes... Eh, people can still see me. We have, there, there, there's also a giant dome outside. It, it, I think we'll be okay. Mm, yes. And Kaga's just looking to look at Van Lin and go, eh, just, you know how to get to my home. I'll just let them know you're coming if you have to. Valen, you, Talos, you would know that she's got a magical circle at home and she can get around if she wants to. She just doesn't. She likes her carriage. Um, and you guys do have a teleportation circle here that you do know. Talos did see it. He just can't use it yet. Yeah. Well, uh, Valen's just going to look at you guys and go, well... Yeah, that's fine. I can stay here. I'm okay with that. Call me when you need me. Don't fuck up the house. Try to get along with a with the, with the inanimate object. Oh no, that's I'm gonna. I, I'm just gonna cover him up with something and just ignore the fact that he's here. He can't do anything about it except turn the house off. Which Let's we've have him not turn the house off. Yeah, we we've had that conversation. Don't worry. Kelvin's just gonna. <sighs> We're workshopping it. I work. Don't turn the house off. Mm. Period. This is I. I know you're my tenant. She's just a guest. My my guest is your guest, right? I wouldn't really consider her a guest, but yes. Okay. Then. So, Sorry. did we need to 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 wait and let? Haga sleep here before we go? Um, she's pretty, like, she's not really, you can tell she's not really exhausted. So maybe she doesn't need sleep. Sounds like we're good to go. Yeah. yeah she's, she's just told you she just does anyway. She just doesn't need it. Mm-hmm. Mm well, sure. It'll take us. Uh, are you wanting to bring your cart and your deep brothy? I feel like two can say yes. Where are we going after? That's up to you guys. Hope and then go find the inn. Is my thought right? But where, like, if we're are we traveling after where we might want our cart and deep brothy? She just need to be able to find a tree big enough for your cart to get through. That's the problem. Okay. You can't. She. Uh, I don't think druids have enlarged reduced, do they? Yeah. They absolutely do. Simon does. Yeah. How do you think he sleeps with Luna? <laughs> don't ask. It's fine. And you, I'm not gonna say. Anything. I know you've seen the campaign. I actually have not listened to. It. I don't see it on the spell list. That much. Did I get I, it I, I, I've, only caught, I've only caught, like, I think an episode and a half. Sorcerer, wizard, artificer. Where did I get that from? I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Rip! Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I got yeah. that. Second level, yeah. Is it uh, part of the uh, one of the Strixhaven feats? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think uh, Who knows? <laughs> druids have it. So, you would be able to. 
Uh, if you uh, slept and took it in the morning, you were Ben. Uh, I, I can't change my spells. Oh yeah, the sorcerers can't. Right, right, right. No. Uh, Neither can bards. Uh, I got what I got. So Talos, do you have enlarge reduce? Oh. Uh, let me check. I don't think so. Oh, I'm so sorry. Druids do get it uh, from Tasha's. It's part of the additional spells. Okay. If you don't have that I toggled on, it won't let you have, have it. Okay, let me toggle that on. I mean, I knew I had it for Simon. It's from Tasha's. Um, I got it all clicked. Would it be considered non-core D and D content? No, no. it's no. just under additional druid spells. Ooh, so, but you have thing. to go to right, that thing. yeah, you have to go to that and click manager. that on. Yeah. Yes, I don't have. Uh, I got origin ability. So go to your yeah, uh, druid class page. That. Yeah, that's what I'm currently on. Oh, optional features. Yes, yeah, I don't optional have that. Features, I didn't click any druid spells first. on. Yes. Yeah, I did not. That is where it comes from. Get all through all that. <clears throat> There you are. Okay. Okay. Uh, she can uh, reduce the size of the cart. That's all I was thinking. And uh, so that's up to one minute. She would be able to do the deep brothy, but you guys would be. That's yeah. He's only large. So that's fine. It's more the Vardo. Okay. Yeah, she can do the Vardo. That'll work. Okay, so yeah, if you guys want to take your cart, you can. Yeah. Yeah, I think Tooth would want to, yeah. Yeah, he does definitely at least want the Deep Rothy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah, is there I'll any... leave my bat, so. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like to leave them with... Um, you could stick them with Yarn Spinner, if you like. Because I assume you're taking Yarn Spinner. Yeah, I think taking Yarn Spinner yeah. is a good idea. Yeah, um, Yarn Spinner... Oh, but that... Because that's going to be... Because when we drop off Yarn Spinner, then I'm still going to have to bring them back. I suppose they could just chill in the car. Yeah. He's yeah. got everything he needs in there. Yeah, I'll do that. It's self-sustaining. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Hi. Hi, he, sorry. He can hear everything, um, so. <clears throat> do you mind uh, keeping the bats with you Oh. Uh, on our trip? Right. we're going to take you with us, so. Um, sure. We don't have any here, so sure. Yay. Okay, you're just going to see, like, one one leg come out, and they're all just going to land on his leg, and he's just going to come right I go down the line, and I give him <laughs> each a kiss, <laughs> and then I let her, yeah. Yep. Okay, you're getting out, thanks. <laughs> Here's all their food for the next three weeks. <laughs> we got plenty, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, is there anything else you guys want to do in your house? Because uh, you're just basically leaving Valen and the ghosts and your portrait of Kelvin. Okay. Um, I need to double check the books. Be a lot of moisture in here. Make sure the books aren't damaged. No, the, everything looks completely as it was. Unless you go to your bedrooms, then maybe Francisco's is a little out of place. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the bed Francisco might have moved. Right the, the bed might have moved a little. Um, you will notice that the uh, yes. well, Ben would notice that the ghosts are going around and scrubbing everything in everything. <laughs> And you, yeah, like literally now, Ben, anytime you're here, you can just see them, hear them perfectly as if they're real in here. Each, every time you'd walk around, they'd all be saying hi to Ben and ignoring everybody else. Yeah. Hey, Ben, I don't remember. Did the ghosts get frozen too? Yeah, they were frozen. Are they unfrozen now? Like they good? They, they seem as good as they usually are. Okay, cool. <laughs> they do have names. Um, ben knows. I them. didn't ask. That's okay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I know. 
But yeah, uh, so anything else uh, you wanted or needed before you head out? I don't think so. No. Okay. Perfect. I mean, we kind of carry most of our stuff with us in the in the hole. Yeah. I guess I'll I'll just while people are kind of checking things, I'll check the hole and make sure everything's still in there. Okay. By all as means, it was. open it up. Um, are you guys? Did you change in the morning, or are you still in your finery? I'm still in my finery, but I am changing before we leave. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did Valen? Yeah, Valen would have seen all your finery. She's just wondering. I don't think you guys had it on, though. No, this is the first time she would have seen you in your finery. Mm, we changed on the way, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's been definitely looking you over and just... Almost like, why are you wearing that now? It's I cute, right? Anyways, I'm gonna go change. Mm, not functional, but yes. That's a little... <laughs> that's a little the, the, the Christmas score, that's about it. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you guys get out of your travel gear, well, you put your travel gear back on, your actual stuff, uh, and you set out. Um, probably only takes you, like, maybe an hour before she finds a tree, because she would know exactly where some are. Um, let me bring up the map here. So, Port Hope... She's going to look at you guys and go, what area of Port Hope would you like? Would you like somewhere on the outskirts, in the uh, west side of town, east side of town? There's a few areas I know of that I can bring you to. I don't know. I'll move you over to the map and you can ping me in an area that we would like to go. So in your, you guys would have a map that she can, uh, you guys would look at. She can send you, like, to here, like, maybe a good, like, hour north. She can put you over on the east side, if you like. Maybe, maybe north? Yeah, that sounds Up in the little hamlet area? Okay. I guess? Is there, I mean, is there any real difference? Just depends on what side of town you want to go on. Uh, Port Hope is... Um, it's a lot like Port Me, just a little... little less uh, touristy. Oh, wait. Would we, would we know what side of town... Uh, I'm pretty far. Francisco, <laughs> I, I'm drawing a blank I, I, here. As close, as close as we can get to the port, actually, I guess. Uh, is... Is the dark meat a ship or an inn? Inn. Is that the inn we need to go to? Because that's in Port Ho. We talked to uh, those guys and then they said they were stationed at Grand the dark Grand meat says, in Port Ho. It was north of the actual city. This one was the out north. The, then. This, I believe, was out in the middle of like just on its own almost. Like if you were taking like an, uh, a trail. Uh, wa like coming through like through here ish area there'd be a trail leading up a little more like it'd be just like in that general vicinity but it'd be off in like a little forest area it's like an off beaten in built for them basically yeah so maybe north is the way we want to go at least get a lay of the land a little bit yep yeah. See if I can bring up that session and look at my notes for exactly where I said that was. I'm pretty sure that's where I said the general vicinity was, though. It was when we were talking about pre-NCs and Strawberry Lily. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you said, so, headquarters at Fortune Island was north of Fort Meade. Uh, but then the uh, Dark Meade is where they were stationed in Port Hope. Yes. Yeah, up uh, way north, there's an island up in Port Mead. You're going to need a yeah. ship to get yourself there. But yeah, north of Port Hope was where the uh, other inn was. Oh. Uh, just trying to find the actual session. I think it was around 22 when you guys raised the dead. Uh, 
can't remember. I'd have to find it. But yeah, you, you guys have been told exactly where in the general area to go anyway. I vote north of Port Bead. I concur. <laughs> Yeah, the dark meat. Uh, tavern is on the outskirts in the fishing village near Port Hope. So the fishing village is here. So it's a little north of that. Okay. Yeah. So it'd be along this water area going from Lake Mead to uh, the, uh, the sea. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, north. Cool. Yeah. So she will let you, she'll drop you off somewhere around here then. Perfect. All right. Uh, so yeah, eventually she does fine. So you guys are, would be, like your home is around here, I believe. She'd be taking you just a little up in this area. So you guys got home around two. We'll say after a little bit of talk and travel, you're pushing close to dinner time. All right. Time to find an inn and get food. <laughs> yes. All right. So. I wonder where the closest inn is. <laughs> All depends. Are you going to go into Port Hope or find the other place first? I think it'd be better to talk to Lily first. Yeah, yeah. I think we do that, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. So, All right, so we'll find the salty dog. Yeah. So eventually, uh, Kaka finds a perfect, nice, big oak tree, uh, shrinks down your Vardo, um, gives uh, your uh, Deep Rothy a lovely little pat, and opens up another tree hole for you guys to run through. Uh, you do need to go quick because it lasts <laughs> six seconds. Um, and yeah, she's basically, uh, she's going to tell you it might be easier just to stay in the Vardo <laughs> instead of going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you, it, it still shrinks. So you'd have to like crawl on top of it and whatnot. But yeah, it'd be quicker. So the deep broth, can just carry you guys through. Sabrin stays in the Vardo and just very weirdly or compresses. That. Yeah. You'd, it would... Super uncomfortable. It does not look good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ben stays in the Vardo and just squishes with it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't really matter to Ben. <laughs> uh, it's very uncomfortable for everyone watching. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, and six seconds later, you guys find yourselves in a completely different forest. Um, surrounded by a bunch of trees and give me perception checks as you guys come out uh, as soon as you're out she makes the Vardo go back to normal because that only lasts Ooh, actually give me one minute is tr transport via plants concentration because it large reduces concentration And she do if it only lasts six seconds, I can't imagine it would be yeah, concentration. I, don't think it is. I just wanted to. It's check. not. No, yeah, it just okay, lasts around. Right. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> just double checking. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be. <laughs> All right. I didn't want to screw anything up. All right. So, yeah, uh, as soon as you guys come through, uh, tree closes. Uh, she's just going to look at you guys and go, Here we are. Uh, you will tell, like, by the time you're here, like, you can smell the salt sea air as soon as you come through, because you're close to the ocean now. Uh, 23 for me, and a nat 20 for 24 for two. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't see anyone around you. You, she brought you into a nice area where there was nothing, and there's just, there's no path, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get through the wooded little area, but she's just going to point you in the direction of the best place to go and she's You're the gonna best I'm gonna go home um, it'll take me well, screw it there's a tree here <laughs> yeah I may as well just do it the easy way I was gonna stretch my wings to speak but may as well go home call me if you need me 
and she's just gonna walk right back through the tree. We'll come find you at some point, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are in a forest that you've never been in and told where to go? Let's go that direction. Okay. Let's go find a lily. <laughs> Uh, so, you do know that he said it's going to take a while for your ship to get there. I, uh, assumed you were going to do the journey, so they're five days behind you now. So you're going to have to wait a bit. And, I mean, that means we can do some scoping out. Yeah. Mm. And uh, combing through the uh, forest for, you're combing around looking for the uh, dark meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you'll have plenty of time to explore part hope. Beautiful. Well, um, give me survival rolls, please, to try and find your way to Port Hope. Because you know where the general vicinity is, but I want to see if you can get out of the forest. Four. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, nine. Six and nine. For I got a six, tooth got a nine. Talos. What the hell for the win? Talos. Thank you. For some reason, you've never been here. Your programming has no idea. You've never been to Port Hope. You know what's on a map, but you know where South is. And you just somehow, you don't have a sense of smell. You, between you and Spock, just look up, look around and go that way. And you eventually find your path into Port Hope. And I guess we will go through Port Hope next session. Ooh. Bye. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs>